much for the Canadians to threaten for a medal here and with the home crowd behind them, maybe even challenge for gold. Hi, uh, I'm Penny Alexiak and I'm going to be watching the 4x2 women's freestyle relay. Bonjour, je m'appelle Catherine Savard et j'ai fait partie du relais 4x200 mètres libre qui a été médaillé d'or au championnat du monde à Windsor. Hi, I'm Kennedy Goss. I was a member of the 4x200 freestyle relay in Windsor for the 2016 Short Course World Championship Games. Hey, I'm Taylor Ruck and today I'm going to be watching and commenting on the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay in Windsor 2016. Windsor was uh, the meet that came, the next major international meet right after Rio. So uh, all of us girls were just kind of on fire. We were feeling good, we were ready to go. The crowd went crazy when Canadians swam, which I've never really experienced before swimming it at home. So. Um, just hearing everybody go crazy for us uh, definitely helped make me feel more confident that we were going to do well and when we dove in the pool, this was just for Canada, so... Je pars quand même assez vite, ça c'est ma, spé ma spécialité, là, mais c'est la façon dont je nage quand même, mais partir assez vite, j'ai plus de, de vitesse que d'endurance. Une fois que tu as nagé, ta job, elle est faite d'une certaine façon, ensuite c'est vraiment t'es là pour encourager les autres et puis espérer que tout va aller bien, que, te, que les quatre filles, on va bien nager. Euh, donc, euh, après, après notre course, moi, je suis sortie de l'eau puis j'encourageais vraiment les filles puis on espérait que ça allait, euh, ça allait très bien. Il y avait les Américaines hein, à côté de nous. C'est sûr que les Américaines euh, ont été très dominantes euh, ben, à toutes les compétitions. Hein. <rire> Les japonaises à l'autre côté, les japonaises sont très fortes aussi. C'est la dernière longueur, la dernière longueur. Euh, tout le monde est accélère pour euh, donner tout ce qui nous reste en fait. Et puis, euh... ouais, troisième à date, on est euh, à quelques dixièmes de la première place. Donc, euh, moi, à partir de maintenant, euh, ma nage était faite, j'encourageais les filles. Pour moi, Ben wanted me to keep in mind um, just getting ahead of everybody. So... That's what you can see here. I mean, I'm just trying. Usually on this race, like, if we're a little bit behind or wherever we are in a relay, I just use my adrenaline the first 1500, and that's what I'm doing here. I mean, I don't feel any pain really the first 50. Um, and that kind of, it can be good and bad. I mean, because. I don't really feel how fast I'm going and then I might feel the pain a little bit more on the back half so um, I kind of just forget how to pace if uh, depending on how much adrenaline is going through my mind and my body so that's the first hundred and I know I was feeling pretty good and then usually on 200s this is where I just try and drop the hammer the third 50 I mean I know it's gonna hurt I'm prepared for it and there I go, I turn and it's looking pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look like I'm hurting too much yet, but the last 50 of the 200, I always know like that's no matter what, I have to just go as fast as I can on that too. So I'm not really breathing to the US Australia side, so I don't know where they are at the moment, but uh, on this one, I know that I'll be able to see the US and I'm definitely more of a racer So when I see the U.S. right there, I'm like, okay, just just go, 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 feed off that energy and make sure that I touch well for Kennedy and there she goes, she's off. You know, Taylor had such an amazing swim and she really did give us this huge lead and the lead that we needed going into my leg. I think she had the fastest split at like a 151, which is insane. Um, and then I just dive in and You know, I had some confidence going into this because Taylor and Kat gave us a good lead and I knew I just had to hold off, hold off the American and allow Penny to do her job and bring it home for us. And I've also raced Sarah Gibson before um, in the NCAA system. So I knew she was a tough competitor, but I always have the strategy of 
coming back faster in the last hundred and I think I felt comfortable in the position I was there right, right then that I could bring it home pretty fast. I did not have great turns <laughs> and I was breathing to my left side coming home but um, I can still see her a little bit and this is when I really started to pick up my pace and I knew I had a lot left in the tank for this last hundred so that I could at least give Penny a substantial amount of space between the Americans and she could bring it home as fast as she could. This brings back so many good feelings. Um, it's so exciting hearing how loud the crowd is and how you know they just have your back and um, just hearing Pat yell <laughs> when you're behind the blocks gives you so much more excitement. Um, I'm really proud of this swim. I think it's one of my fastest splits. I went out. I went out. I went out way too quick in this. That's like my 50 rate in this. The answers are so kind to me. I think I went out so fast because it was a Canadian crowd and I had to. I had to do it. I had to go for it. I was hurting at the end a little bit. I love a Canadian crowd. Just missed the world record, but we killed that. And you can see how tired I am holding on to the net for my life. And everyone goes to like touch my hand and touch my head, and I could not deal with it. I remember that I was like dead in the water. I just remember the crowd going crazy and looking up and seeing all the other Canadian teammates just being jumping up and down and being so excited. Um, was something that is pretty indescribable and something that I am so proud of and proud of to be able to do it in front of my parents and my friends and family is just something that um, is a feeling you can't really even describe as I'm stumbling on my words. Revisiting this moment, it definitely makes me feel really nostalgic because I don't really take a lot of time to rewatch. Um, my past races or I mean anything really I usually when I just do a race or a relay or anything I just I touch it's in my head for a day or two or maybe the meet and then it's kind of out of my head so watching Windsor especially it's just really cool to see like that happen and it brings back all the memories and the feelings associated with it I was super excited for that race and just knowing that I was with those girls and I knew that we could do something special so it was really exciting to be a part of that but I'm so happy that we got to compete in that together and got to win gold for Canada in front of a Canadian crowd in Windsor and it was such a fun meet. I remember having such a great time there and the crowd was amazing and the people were amazing and if I could do it all again I probably would. C'est le fun d'en un des relais, en fait, on est vraiment quatre filles ensemble. Euh, ça peut tellement aller bien, comme des fois, ça dépend d'une performance. Ça dépend de la performance de quatre filles individuellement, la somme de quatre euh, performances individuelles. Donc, c'est sûr que ça peut, euh, des fois, un petit détail peut faire la différence. Mais là, cette année-là, on arrivait des Jeux olympiques avec la médaille et tout. Puis, euh, ça a été une année euh, exceptionnelle pour nous. Uh, pour moi personnellement, puis pour tout le Canada uh, uh, au niveau natation, là. ça a été vraiment une année exceptionnelle. I do remember being on the podium with all these girls and um, Penny whispering in all our ears saying we have to sing the national anthem as loud as we can and being able to do that on Canadian soil and having the whole crowd sing the national anthem with us is something that I will never forget. It was 
it is one of the greatest swimming memories of my life and probably one of the most proud I've ever been in my swimming career and um, I'm just so grateful that I was given I was able to have this opportunity and to be able to represent Canada is something that I'm forever grateful for as well. Just watching this is really cool to see and uh, thank you for the swim rewind request so yes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed reliving that with us and have a good day night. Morning, week, goodbye. Do you want to see the latest videos from Swimming Canada? Well, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Vous voulez voir les dernières vidéos de Natation Canada? Assurez-vous de vous abonner à notre page YouTube.